This might just be the perfect entry level hardtail. The Specialized Rockhopper Elite 27.5. Close your eyes. All right, all right. I guess I didn't need to make a hype edit for this bike. Let's just dive right into the review. Now, here's the thing, guys. This is not a bike review channel. However, I do want to cover this bike because entry-level mountain bikes are something we don't discuss enough. People getting into the sport aren't buying the $6,000 mountain bikes. They're buying these. And to get one with the knowledge that it's going to take you really far and what you can do with it is going to be really helpful. So let's cover this bike. This, as you can imagine, is not my bike. This is actually a bike we got for my girlfriend. This is her first mountain bike. We spoiled her because, let me tell you, I did not start with a bike this nice. And I'm gonna tell you why this is gonna be the perfect mountain bike to take anyone that's entering the sport a really long way. First things first, the hat staying on, because right now, we got the winter mullet going on. Second, we are at my favorite bike filming spot, which is gonna be my local tennis court. <laughs> I wanna thank my channel sponsor, Patapsco Bicycles, because without them, this wouldn't be possible. I went into great detail with them on what kind of bike I wanted to pick up for her because there's a lot that we could do. We could just settle with a gravel bike. We could have settled, we could have gone all out with a full suspension bike, but I wanted to start her with the correct techniques, correct knowledge, correct foundation into this sport with the means of upgrading this to wherever we want to take it. And that's why we got this bike. So let's get into it. Thank you, Patapsco Bicycles. And if you want to get one of these yourself, I highly recommend going talking to the professionals over there. They will help you out and they will hook you up. So what is this godsend hardtail that I keep bragging about here? This is the 2022 Specialized Rock Hopper Elite in the 27.5 version. That means the wheels are 27.5 inches. And I'll get into exactly why we went with that. First off, the Specialized Rock Hopper. This platform is a hardtail platform for the Specialized brand. Overall, it's seen as your entry-level hardtail, right? So it would be comparable to things like Trek Marlin, which a lot more people are familiar with. This is something that it's gonna be a lot of people's first time mountain bike. So with a first time bike, what are you looking for? You're looking for affordability. No one wants to go into a sport not knowing if they're fully gonna commit and spend thousands of dollars. You're looking for comfort. You're not looking for a bike that's so specialized where you can only do one thing with it, no pun intended. Some level of it being able to fit your different needs. I think that's gonna be really important for these first time mountain bike buyers as well. The next thing is gonna be just capability. No one wants to get on a bike that they've spent for the first time, they've spent good money on a mountain bike and then they realize can't handle certain things. You're being told by everyone, don't take it here, it's gonna break. This can handle it. This will get you in at a good price. Where does this bike come in at the price point? Now the Specialized Rock Hopper has many different iterations as far as how far up you can go in the trim level and how far down with different parts, different variations. This is the Elite 27.5. That means it comes with an air fork, it comes with one by drivetrain. We're gonna get into all of that, so don't let that overwhelm you. For your first mountain bike, you're probably gonna be looking for something that can do other things, like paddle around the parking lot, maybe even take you on a little commuter trip to the grocery store, take a gravel ride, things like that, and being comfortable doing those things before you get out on trail. This would be the perfect bike for that. The hardtail platform makes it so that you don't have too much suspension, making it not very hard to pedal. The suspension on this bike can also be fully locked out to make a stiffer ride so that you'll have more progression being able to ride on roads and things like that. Talking affordability, since this is the Elite, every single version of the Rock Hopper gets a little bit more pricey. With specialized sales right now, these are coming in at just under $1,000, so right in the $900 range, which for a bike that could be your very long-term hardtail is an amazing, amazing deal. It's definitely worth considering on that end. It would be comparable to things like your Marlin 8, which is also the higher end of the Marlin spectrum on uh, that line of bikes for the Trek. Let's talk about the upgrade capability on this bike. 
the ability to take this bike from being your fully entry-level hardtail to making it a long-term hardtail that's more and more and more capable to ride more and more trails. The first thing you're going to notice is this has holes for internal cable routing. That means you're going to be able to route a dropper post, the suspension. This is kind of the highlight of this trim of bike. This comes with a RockShox Judy. That means that's going to be your entry level air fork. And air fork is super, super valuable on an entry level bike because you'll actually have support and progression through the travel of this bike, which means we're able to basically fill up air into the chamber of this fork and provide more or less support depending on how you want it, depending on the rider's weight and what they're riding, things like that. It's not a luxury that a lot of us get on our first time mountain bikes because I surely did not have that. The other really big, like capable component of this trim, the Elite trim, is gonna be our one by drivetrain. So it does come with a Shimano Dior. One by drivetrain means we don't have all the loss of chain problems and things like that that come with a two by drivetrain. Let's talk about the tires, because it is your main contact point to the ground. So these come on specialized own fast track control T5s. I don't have too much experience on these, but from what I'm seeing, they're a pretty durable tire. They do come tubeless ready. However, they come with inner tubes in them. So something worth noting. Staying on thing of being up front here, the brakes that come on this are Shimano hydraulic brakes. So they're really gonna be very capable at stopping. Now that we've covered the front a little bit, let's move downwind. As far as the saddle goes, it is a specialized bridge. Just kind of your basic general mountain bike saddle. Looks like it provides some good support. Stout cranks. We went ahead and threw on some flat pedals on here, some Bond Traeger uh, flats, just because getting used to flats early on are very easy. As for any good mountain bike, this does have the ability to go ahead and put on um, pretty much any line of bottle cages. We went ahead and got a color match because Selena really likes the lavender so you'll notice we have a lot of lavender touches going here in purple. And then moving back from there, as we talked about, so we got an 11-speed drivetrain, really big range, get you up a hill, get you down a hill uh, as efficiently as possible. What are the main things that I would recommend? I would say some of the big things, my number one thing is always gonna be dropper post. I know some people would disagree, but the number one upgrade would be a dropper post. And with this quick release lever and the internal cable ride on this bike, it's gonna be very easy to set up with a dropper post. My second biggest upgrade are gonna be setting up those tires tubeless. Again, they come tubeless ready. So, like I said, this bike, super capable of moving you forward in your mountain bike progression. Other than that, guys, I'm not a bike reviewing channel. This channel is dedicated to big adventures on fun bikes. And that's really what it's all about, the happiness, the energy that comes with bikes. So I just wanted to kind of get a video out on this bike because I think this is the entry level mountain bike is the perfect platform to get people into this sport. Don't spend a ton of money on your first bike. You'll learn to understand why you love the sport with a bike like this. If you start out on like a five, six thousand dollar bike, that's great. If you can do that, that's awesome. You know, adopt me. But starting out on a bike like this really makes you appreciate the sport as you progress in it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'm not a bike reviewer. I'm sure there's things I missed. Or if you have specific questions, I'm happy to answer them in the comments as well. If you have any more specific questions about ordering one of these or anything in the Specialized lineup, Patapsco Bicycles is a retailer of Specialized. Their professionals will definitely talk to you about what bike would be perfect for you. So go check them out as well. And that's gonna be everything. Again, questions down in the comments. Otherwise, subscribe as the weather gets a little bit better here on the East Coast. We're gonna be getting back out on more adventures on bikes. Thanks for hopping on another bike check with me and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Turn, 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 why are you coming to me?